Hey Simmers, in this video I'm going over what to do when there's an update for the EA app and this applies for Origin as well if you're a Mac user. How to handle that situation and what you should do with your mods. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom. You're going to see a little icon that looks like a folder, okay? That is what we call File Explorer. It's going to be the same thing for Mac, but it's not going to be called File Explorer. It's going to be called Finder. It should look blue and white. Once you click on that, you're going to go ahead and go to your Documents tab. Now, if you can't find it, it could be that you're brand new to doing mods and it may not have loaded up for you yet. If that's the case, please go back into your Sims game, load it up, and then that way you will be able to see your documents folder. But in order for you to load up the game, you do need to update it. So what I like to do is go into the documents tab, go into the EA folder. Once I'm in there, I go into the Sims 4 folder. And then I go ahead and grab that mods folder. So you see how I selected it and it's blue. I'm going to drag it and put it on my desktop. Okay. Just for safety precautions. So nothing messes up. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and exit the folder and you're going to click the update button for the Sims 4. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to update as I click the icon that was below it. It will tell you the time frame that you have for the update and the bottom left corner. So if you don't see calculating time, preparing, or any of that, that means that you did something wrong. So keep that in mind. You would apply the same thing if the EA app were needing an update as well. Okay. But there's one important thing I want you guys to keep in mind. We're going to click on the three lines in the top left corner. Once you do that, go to settings. I want you to remember that if you do not click on this download tab in the EA app and turn off the automatic updates, it is going to automatically update by itself. And if your mods folder is inside, it could cause issues with you loading into the game. Um, it could cause issues with certain custom content that you have in there and some of your mods. So it's very important that you remember firsthand, even if there isn't an update, to turn this off, how do you know it's off? Is it's going to be grayish, blackish. It's not going to be turned on, okay? So keep that in mind. And that is the same thing you want to do with Origin as well. Make sure you go into your settings and turn off automatic updates, okay? So as long as you've done that, you'll be able to see what I just saw. You will be able to go in and see that it says, hey, The Sims 4 needs an update. Are you going to go ahead and update it now? And I say yes. So while we wait for it to load up, this is when you then will just basically wait it out and once it's finished updating you're going to want to go into the game at that point and make sure that you basically push play so that way you can make sure everything's working properly you don't want to just automatically jump into adding your mods folder back in because that's going to make everything turn off like your script mods and stuff like that and you don't want that to happen so what we're going to do is we're going to go in now that it's finished and we're going to launch the game don't worry about not having your mods in the game as it launches. I've had people ask me, um, will that mess up their saves and stuff like that? You don't have to worry about that. Tray files is what keeps track of your saves as far as the houses and stuff in your game. And then the saves actually keep track of whatever you had already going with certain mods. So you do not have to worry about that. Once you put your mods back in, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about them not working. There typically is normally a Sims 4 update once a month, but don't take my word for that. Sometimes it could be twice a month, maybe even three times a month. It just depends. So once you're in, you can go ahead and exit out whatever just popped up. Um, typically, they just like to let us know what packs are available and what things you can buy now. Now, once you're in, you want to go ahead and just start your game. You can either load a game that you had loaded or you can just click resume to leave off where you were. But before we do that, go to your options tab, select game options, go to the other tab at the bottom and make sure that your enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed are both turned on. If they are looking like this, then that means they are not green and they don't have a check by them, which means they're not turned on. So once you make sure they're turned on, select apply changes and then exit out. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and load up the game real quick. Once the game is loaded up, it's going to let you know that some items were removed, obviously, because the mods folder is not inside. So do not freak out. 
we are going to pause. This is his little weed garden. So if you're wondering why he looks like, what am I doing? That That's why. So um, once you have loaded the game in, you can just push play, mess around with it a little bit, pause. Oh, I forgot I got a kitty. Okay. And then there you go. So what, once you do that, you can just exit the game. Don't worry about saving anything. You don't have to do that. Just exit the game. After you've done that, that is how you basically initiate the process of the update. Then you want to go to the bottom of your desktop icon and just click on that file explorer again or a finder. Go back into documents, go into electronic arts, and then go into the Sims 4 folder. Once you're inside, click on the mods folder and you will see that you'll only see a resource CFG file. What the game does is it auto generates a mods folder when there's not one inside. So don't freak out. You can just delete that current mods folder and bring in the mods folder you already had. Once you do that, make sure that you guys have the Better Exceptions mod installed. If you don't, stop this video. Please go to my channel. Look for the tutorial that says how to install Better Exceptions mod. That mod is going to help you out to let you know when there is an update, what mods or custom content you have that is broken. So you can then take that custom content out of your mods folder, and then you can wait for the mod creator to update it and then reinstall the mod. That is pretty much how that goes. So if you don't have better exceptions installed, pause this video and then go get it installed. All right. If you already got it installed and you're good to go, you are going to go ahead and exit that mods folder. You just placed it back inside the Sims 4 folder. Now we're going to go back into the game and see what possibly was broken after this update. And you may or may not have stuff broken. So let's go find out. Once you load in the game, it might take a while. Just to FYI, that is possibly because you may have some broken mods that are making the load take a longer time. Once you're in, you're going to see this little message that pops up from Better Exceptions that says, congrats, you've installed the new version of TS4. Unfortunately, this typically means some mods are not going to com be compatible. And then it asks if you want to scan and then you can just say, yes, please. Once it does that, it's going to load up what needs tuning. What that means is it's going to basically let you know what mods are out of date and need to be basically taken out. So here is Teen Job Collection, Preschool Mod, Kawi Stacy's My Personal Mod, and then the Realistic and Pregnancy Mod. So what you can do when this happens is you basically can go to the File Explorer Finder icon, go into Documents and Electronic Arts, click on Sims 4, and then go into your Mods folder. Once you're here, you can just exit the game because now we're aware of what's broken. But before you do that, you can choose to push play and just check to see if anything else may be broken. Okay, so let's take out the My Personality mod by Kawi Stacy because it's out of date. Don't worry about taking a mod out because that just implies that you will be able to go back to the mod creator's website and get the newer version of that mod. So don't be like sad, like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to play with this mod. You basically just have to wait for the mod creator to update it. So let's check and see. It says preschool mod for Kawi Stacy in the My Personality mod. So a lot of things that I like to do when I'm updating mods is I like to just move everything out of the way. And then I take out the education system mod, the slice of life mod, because they're telling me those are the mods that are broken. And it's a lot easier for me to do that. I don't delete it right away because there's a high chance that I'm going to need to remember what mod I needed updated so I can go to the website and see if there's an update available. You didn't leave anything out. That's great. Now for the base metal drugs, you're going to go ahead and just download the zip file. After you do that, you are then going to click the arrow icon, click show in folder, right click it, extract all. For MacBook, you just have to double click. And this is what you need. These two files is what you're going to need, which is the TS4 script and the package. That's it. Those two bad boys. So you just exit out of that. Get your finder icon open, which is your mods folder, and then open up your downloads tab. And then once you do that, you will just drag in your base metal drugs folder okay so we're going to go ahead and place that in here and now we're good and you just always want to check and make sure that you don't have another in there which i do so i'm going to delete that first base metal drugs 
And I'm not sure if I need a new version of the games, but they will let me know when I load in the game. So at this point, this is when you can load in the game or you can go to Google, go to Kylie Stacy's mods, and then see if there was a new update provided based off the sim update that just happened, re-download it, and then place it into your game. So I hope this helps. If it did, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day.